kiss, kiss. I've got something here that I want to show you both. Hey, Andrew, look over here. She's got something for us. When I observe a family, the first thing I do is give them a household routine. And the Western family, they didn't have a consistent schedule. The priority is that the children are put into a consistent routine. So at 5 to 5.30, Sean and Andrew eat dinner and then bedtime at 7 o'clock. Joe gave us a schedule to keep us on track as far as eating, going to bed. I think that's good. With all the rest of the techniques that we're going to implement, the discipline is going to be under control. The chaoticness, the inconsistency is going to vanish, OK? So... It's great. We'll, we will implement this and we will do it. When it comes to behaviour, the first thing that I want to address is Andrew's aggression towards other children. And I've set up the naughty spot technique so that when he misbehaves, that's where he will go. No, 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 don't. Andrew, Andrew, do not do that to Sean. Be nice, please, around your brother. He's only a baby. Oh, okay? he's not. He's a big boy. No, he's not. You're a big boy. Yeah. Yes, you're a big boy and Sean's a baby. Andrew just continued to be aggressive towards baby Sean. No, no, Andrew just love, love, love. When Andrew's behaving in a way that is not acceptable, I'd like you to give him a warning first, with eye contact and coming down to his level. Are you listening? Yeah. What you're doing by oh, kicking baby oh, Sean oh. is not OK. I don't want you kicking baby Sean. I want you to give him a warning, but you must change your tone of voice so that he recognises authority. <laughs> if he does not listen to you, I would like you to place him in whatever room you're in, I would like you to place him by the wall and tell him to sit there and to stay there. OK, you're not listening, so you're going to go over to the wall. Lower your tone, let him realise you're being serious. And you will stay there. You will sit here. And you're going to think about not kicking your brother. Well, I don't want you to be. Come over here for a minute in case he gets up again, which he is now. I'm going to show you something, OK? Andrew, go and sit back down here until Mummy tells you you can get up. Joe's voice caused Andrew to be uh, scared enough to go back to that spot. Uh, my question to Joe is, tell me how to stop that child from playing games for the first 20 minutes with the naughty spot. But this is where the consistency comes in. You must go back and follow through with the same that you did before. OK, so now you're okay. back because he's still... For what he's doing, yes. Paula. Andrew, that Andrea. behavior is not acceptable. You sit here and you think about not Poo -poo. hitting your brother. Poo -poo. But I guarantee you, every time you're consistent and you follow it through, he gets the same message after he's four minutes, I want you to say to him, now you behave yourself and I'd like you to apologise. OK, gotcha. Andrew, the reason why you're placed on the floor is you were hitting your brother and kicking him. You need to behave or she'll be back on the floor again. Right. You need to hug your brother and say sorry because you were hurting your brother. I guess to say sorry now. Say sorry. Sorry. When I observed Andrew playing with his friends, he was very overpowering and controlling. So to help mum and dad, I set up the shared play technique so they could teach Andrew how to play nicely with his friends. Andrew, when she gets done with something, then you can ask for it. When you get done with something, you can give it to her so she can try and cut something. You teach your child how to recognise to play with other children so that they take turns. Ask each other nicely, which is, Please, can I have the knife, Andrew? Or Andrew say, Marnie, please, can I have the fork? Did you hear how they asked nicely, Andrew? Yeah. How do you say it? Good. So, Mum, what we're going to do is we're going to move away now and we're going to take this to the next level. Once Andrew knows what's expected of him, Mum can then allow herself to step back and relax. Look how beautiful he's playing now. I want you to be able to have faith in knowing you can do that with any child oh, you yeah, leave yeah. Andrew with. <laughs> I'm getting to you, little guy. I'm getting to you. 
Thank you. Whilst Mum was feeding baby Sean, Andrew wanted his chocolate milk warmed up and he threw a massive tantrum over it. No. I can't even understand you. You're crying so much. When you're done crying, you come up and ask me what you want nicely. What do you want, Andrew? I don't understand you. Talk to me properly Talk to so me that properly. I can understand Normal you. Talking. I don't understand you, Andrew. I want you want your drink warmed up? <laughs> Ask me nicely. I'd like my drink warmed up, please, Mummy. Say it. Mommy. I want my drink warm up. Ignore it. Ignore it. I want to teach Andrea how to not give in to Andrew's tantrums. What's going on? What's going on? Come in, Fred. Fred was in shock. They look very pale. Are you okay? Is him. Is it the crying? I've never seen him act in this manner before. You don't hit me, Andrew. I don't like that. Andrea started to catch on very quickly. And when he hit her, she took him straight to the naughty spot. You don't hit people. You sit there and you think about it. It upset me as a parent to see my child become that emotionally upset where he was just almost begging to be picked up and held. I want you to listen to what I'm saying because I've been in many, many houses where parents have thought, oh my God, it feels like it's all gone mayhem. It feels like it's getting worse. The only thing that just got worse was that Andrew just realized that his mum and dad are now in control of the discipline. You don't hit me. <laughs> All I want you to do is say, Mommy, can you warm up my chocolate milk? In a nice, nice way. Don't pick him up, it's not a baby. Don't pick him up, don't pacify me in that way. Honestly, you are not, you are not being cruel. You're just setting boundaries. He will thank you for it later. Trust me on this, or he will. Okay? Anytime somebody comes in your house and starts to give you directions, it's hard. It's hard to accept change. It's hard to accept criticism.